one of the big things is, is that Richmond's kind of a, a nationwide brand in terms of uh, it's a great mix of not only the education that you can get, but it's also uh, the conference that you play in in terms of uh, the CAA, uh, in terms of uh, what the, this history has winning a national championship. In my opinion, this is one of the big conferences or major conferences in FCS football. So every week you're going to play a nationally ranked opponent or a playoff opponent, and that's the next level to me is, is, is making those progresses to, in, in this ranks. For me, the pleasure comes, uh, what gets me excited about it is just getting the opportunity to impact young people. You know, knowing that my relationship with them hopefully won't last just the, the four years that they're here, the five years they're here, but it'll be 20 years down the road where I still, from some of the guys I've coached, I still get, you know, I've gotten baby pictures, wedding invitations, uh, anniversary uh, reminders and stuff like that, you know, and it's always good to feel that you've impacted somebody enough that they want to include you in part of their life. Because for me, I have 11 players. Those are my 11 sons along with the sons I have. I consider my coaching style to be this. I, I, it's, a, it's a realist coaching style, meaning by, uh, I don't believe in sugarcoating it. Okay, I'm gonna tell you exactly how it is. Uh, it's a very high intensity, uh, high energy. Uh, you have to play with extreme effort and uh, I always say this, I want practice to be harder than the games. So I put you as many stressful situations as I can because that's where there's breakdowns on defense is when you're stressed. Well, if I can get you conditioned to learn how to play through stress, now when you get through games, you never feel stressed. It's really good. Um, our defensive staff is great in terms of uh, They've been really accepting of me in, 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 in terms of what I try to bring to the table and I'm trying to learn from them. You know, you, anybody that comes in and tries to do their own thing and never adapts, you're never learning. So I'm always a person that believes in learning and, and, and becoming a better coach. So anything I can do to become a better coach, I want to do it. Hoping that I can just be a added benefit to the staff in terms of just adding another voice of, hey, have we done it this way? And then the same way, adding a voice to me saying, hey, can, can you do it this way? And that, that's a good thing, that's a challenge in terms of can you adapt your coaching? And that's what I, that's what I try to do. But this is very, very comfortable with this place. Um, I was at Rice University for a little while and it, it reminds me very similar to the academics and what our guys, our student athletes have to go through to the personnel and the athletic department, the way they do business and stuff like that, the branding, everything being about the spider. That's what I fell in love with, One Richmond. I like that, we're special, we're different. And that's, a, that's the thing I would preach to anybody that was interested about Richmond, is that Richmond's different because we are the one. We're the only one that is Richmond Spiders.